Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I want to work on the next page in our little uh, Edie journal. And I've gone ahead and cut various sizes of watercolor paper and tucked them into the pockets. So there's a little bit of all sorts of sizes there. So we've pretty much stuffed the pockets with goodies to paint with. So what I wanna do now is just do a few extra bits and pieces that can join those blank pages that might give her a little bit of inspiration and maybe we can come up with an activity. So I've got a spare piece of paper. I found in amongst my stencils a colour wheel and a little, I did a little test of um, my black pens because I'm sure they were permanent, <clears throat> water resistant, yeah. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to trace this stencil, hopefully, onto the page, then drop a little bit of colour into this wheel and then she can do the rest so that's the plan i thought that was too good of a little exercise so i'll just take my time and draw the color wheel it's a little bit boring for you but i think I think it'll work out quite well for the journal. It's a bit of a complicated activity probably for her age, but having said that, if mum or grandma could find her an image of a colour wheel on the... Um, on the internet, she can then just go for it. This is just to give us some blocks to paint within. And I think we can um, drop a little bit of color into the center. To get it started there we go so I like that the other thing I found was this lady's face and I thought maybe we can sketch this onto here as well and she can just add lipstick and whatever else would be on the face blush Nice little element. I'll have to go looking to see if I've got a mannequin. I don't think I have. So I might have to draw something. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Whoops. Okay. Who knows what she could do with this. Okay, I think that's everything sketched. No, I missed the eye. Am I on camera? Oh, I am, good. Oh, there's that bandit. Oh, to be excited about life. There we go. Okay, so I might just cut... that in half before I get oh they're rough those dogs talk about rough play I'm just going to trim the lady as well There we go. Some 
little scraps that maybe we can do something with. And I'll just trim this down a fraction more. All right. Now, let's have a look at a watercolour. Um, here we go. Let's have a little look. Let's see what we can do. In the centre here. Um, so our primary colours would be red. So let's put a little bit of water in the centre of there. Pick up some of this red and just drop it in. I'm using these because they're pretty strong pigment. So if you're going to be bold with watercolour, this is the paint set to get. Just going to pull that back out a little bit so don't flood the paper and then come back with a little bit more of the red and try and drop it in there to get a darker. Okay, now we're going to need some yellow. There is a yellow there, but I just want to check that might be a better yellow. That's, oh, they look better. So once again, just going to wet that and we'll see what this yellow does. Yep, that's good. Nice and strong. Just see if this one gives us another pigment of yellow. Yeah, that's good. Now we've got a little bit more depth to that yellow. And we need blue. I know there's a good blue. That one there I think is pretty good. Yep. So let's get a little bit of moisture on the paper. And then we'll just start dropping in the blue. Beautiful. So now we've got her started. And she can go from there. So this quadrant here would be a mix of those two colours, etc, etc. And then as you get out here, it's another another version of so she can go lighter to darker in within those quadrants so that's the little color wheel that was nice and simple the baby baby face we'll leave that as is because i don't really yeah i don't really want to go there with my type of artwork in there now what i thought i might do next is maybe have a go at some flowers and some general pictures that she could maybe copy so um what could i do roses are pretty simple if i can remember how to do them gee now i'm on the spot what color are we going to do them sort of like that pink back over here Wet that down a bit. Oh, let's see. I haven't done these for ages. It's sort of a case of got to build up your circles. But just with little, little movements. The thing about watercolour is 
you um, you really don't need to draw because you're giving the impression of things. Well, that's my fear anyway. I'm a bit bit abstract. <laughs> I'm not a realistic. Not a realistic painter, as they would say. Oh, let's do another one. Now, I might see if I can find a grey or something. Just to... Hello, Fudge. What's that colour there? Yeah, that'd do. Yeah, Fudgy. Just going to drop a little bit of grey into the centre of the flower. So it gets a bit of a purpley. guess if these look <clears throat> these look silly let's get a few buds around the place if these look silly they need not go in let's find some green we're just playing having a smear of some paint oh that's very green I think we want more of a Olive green, I think. Hey, Fudgy, what you doing there? Do you want to come up, dear? Talk about degree of difficulty. Cat now wants to get onto lap. Can you see? Fudgy's just here. <laughs> Fudgy. We've got a, a Michelangelo. Don't you put your paw up there. We've got a, a Michelangelo art piece happening here. And you want to come up and... Oh, goodness me. All right. Pussy coming through. Right in amongst the watercolours. He's going to sit. I think I picked up the wrong paint then. Going abstract now. I've loosened the style up. Let's get a little bit of a red happening in the in the flowers. There we go. Smearing things around now, aren't I? Softening it all up with a little pop of colour. There we go. So it's just a little, little smeary, jiggly, little, could be anything type of floral treatment. What I might do is come back with the black pen when that dries and just pop a few squiggly lines and you know, yeah, who knows. I've um I need another piece of paper and I put my book away so I might actually pinch a piece of paper because I'm having fun here. Let's pinch a piece of paper out of Edie's little book. I wonder 
I wonder if we could do a color palette. You know, when you're um, yeah, just having an idea. What if we just pick some random colors and paint them in just rough and then try and get it a little bit lighter which is not easy to do when you've got a paintbrush full of water a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter again as long as we can show that we have attempted to get it we'll just do the three because that'll be not too difficult for her to mimic so if we drop a little bit more pigment into this guy at the top, we've got our three colours. Okay. And then we might just leave a space. Pick up, say, a blue. We'll leave, we'll leave a space and we'll do another one. do slightly lighter down here a little bit and then really light okay so we're really giving the impression of what we're doing here and she can do the ones in between so we need another color what's a good color we could let's do orange So I might just leave a gap. Nice and dark, nice and freehand. It's like a color, a color sampler. That's what I'm trying to say. Where she can just fill in the gaps. And then what we'll do is when that dries, we'll come back with the pen and we'll outline all of those squares plus pop in some extra squares for her so that she can complete the little task there. So we've got a color wheel, a lady's face, Let's have a go at some more floral. I need some more paper. Sorry, Edie, I'm pinching all your paper. Corinne's come to play and she's just taken over. Let's have a go at maybe another flower. I wonder if I've got a stencil we could draw and she colours it in. Hang on, guys. I'm just looking through my stencil. I wonder how that would go. That could work. Look at this little one. That's a good one. So, and then maybe we drop a little bit of colour here and there just to give her the impression of what she's to do. So let's, let's just get it drawn. have so much fun with watercolour paper. So this one, yeah, this is, this is good. This gives her a structure. Little flowers. 
and then all she's got to do is just drop in some colour. Really easy way of setting up some activities if you've got a, a few stencils. spend on this then probably the more you'd come up with to really create all sorts of things okay so I guess the next page I might think about in the next video will be fabric so I want her to do a little bit of hand sewing. Just some random, oh, that's a tiny flower. I'm flat out getting my little pen in there. Okay. I think that's it. All right, so now we've got a good outline on a watercolor page. So let's have a look at this green. And maybe look at just subtle, just painted in here and there. And then she can do the rest. Okay, a little bit of green. Pop some pink flowers. That's easy. And maybe some yellow, I don't know if that's a good yellow, that's probably a better yellow, and maybe some yellow little berries, and she finishes the rest. Like where does it stop? You could just keep going. So all we've done is just given her a start. Just a little bit of little bit of colour. I wonder if this is dry. Not yet. Okay, I wonder what other stencils I have. Let me just hop up again and have a little look. Um I like to keep it florally. They need to be quite open. That's got potential. That one there has potential. A rose would be good. A butterfly. Here we go. Butterfly would be good to paint. She could go to town with one of those. We're we grabbing out <clears throat> some more paper. there yeah it will okay let's draw the butterfly how am I going for time plenty of time and she can paint in the butterfly
And there's lots of little segments here she can play with. I might drop colour into the centre of the butterfly, down his body. And I might make it wash between a few colours. Might get in amongst the purples, the violets, all those sorts of colours into the pinks, blues. It's not the easiest to trace this little image. But at the end of the day, it's just the impression of a butterfly, isn't it? Okay. All right, so what I might do this time is I'm going to just place some water down the center of the butterfly's body and then come back in with just a little bit of the blue, like so. Then I'm gonna pick up some of that pink, drop that in around the head, let that blend either side, and that'll get me the violet through as well. Just to blend You pick up all sorts of colors then, beautiful. So I might just take my paper in there and just pick up any excess water and leave it at that. So that just gives a bit of a, a blending. I might actually, I can't help myself. I'm going to just do a few of the little patches just so she she knows where to go. This might be a good activity I do with her when I go on holidays up there. Take the pressure off mum. And then just suck out that water just to knock back that intensity. So that'll be a rainbow butterfly that. She should be able to imitate that. These are looking pretty dry, so let's get the pen and have a play with doing the impression that we had some law and order with these. By putting some lines in place. Just a bit of fun. This will help her get used to doing colour, as in um, gradient of colour, I think is the, the correct she enjoys that type of activity well she can she can do that many many times over okay so we've got a lady's face color wheel our little butterfly little plant that activity there can I make this any better I might just is it dry I might just do few leaves so it does look like I had some plan mm, a few dots 
There's no rhyme or reason to this too, really. It's really just a bit of fun. I guess this exercise shows her that um, the colour you put down on the paper doesn't have to be within the image. It can be the, you know, the hint of colour. So it's just a, a smoosh of paint and then go back with a pen and add a little detail to sort of make it look like it might be something. Does that make sense? And then just put a few little dots around. Sort of brings it all together. Maybe. There we go. That's enough. We don't want to overexert ourselves. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to just close up these paints before I have a major incident. Because we're going to quit while we're ahead. Because we haven't made a mess. I've got a spare lid. I probably need to actually undo them and let them dry, if I remember rightly. Oh, we had one more. I wonder... I wonder if we could do... I need some more paper. Oh, I can cut more paper, can't I? I'm going to grab... <clears throat> I'm going to grab this and maybe do a bit of a decorative piece on it. Like a scribble, a doodle. She can do whatever she wants with this, but at least it's gives her a bit of a start. Okay, now let's move it more to here and just draw around that. Look what other stencils I've got there. A bit of a floral floral doodle there so that she can color in so that's pretty cool what else can we do um i might just have one more look because i think i've got a heart stencil oh i've got a daisy stencil that'd be fun that one That could have potential. I'm sure, I've got a heart stencil. Yep, I got a heart stencil. Let's have a look at this heart one. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hope you can. Okay. Here's a couple more.
stencils that I think have potential. This one here is a long piece of paper. And I'm wondering if I can do... Actually, here's an off-cut. This might be better. We do a little... floral line and she just drops paint into it These stencils are also a really good way of getting used to drawing some florally things. If you feel like you can't pull something out of the back of your mind, have a look through your stencils. There might be something that sort of gives you the feel of how this flower was constructed. And I'm just doing in reverse what I did with those roses, where I put the colour down first, then I went back through with the black pen. So we're just sort of giving our impression of the plant here. And then you just drizzle the colour in, which at the end of the day could be within the black lines or within without side the black lines it's really just a a guide nearly done okay This would be fun to drop paint through. Okay, one more flower, and we might have to fire up the paint again. There we go. So just a quick little sketch using these. Um, maybe we do... <clears throat> Definitely need a little bit of green. And I'm thinking orange. Let's have a look at that orange, yeah. And just drop a little bit of orange in around it. And we'll make it messy so that she can see that it's not within the lines. We'll pick up a little bit of this green. Oh, it's too fluoro. That's a better one. Bit of green in amongst there. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do there. I just pick up that excess water just to knock the colour pigment back. So there we go. Just a little pop of colour. And she could do all sorts of colours of flowers there. So I like that one. I like this one too. I'm thinking we could do a lot of daisies on this page. Let's have a draw. lot of painting 
to be done in this section of the the folio. By the time we fill all the pockets with these goodies, should be quite quite interesting for her. I'm concentrating, trying to stay within my lines. Like it's not like I'm drawing anything, but I'm trying to keep the pen with a little bit of pressure to the side of the stencil, just to make sure that my lines are clean. I don't want to rush it. Now, if she owns stencils, she might have a couple herself that she could, whoops, be careful, concentrate, Corinne. Oh, another thing we could do is do some stamping. Last couple of flowers through the center. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. This is probably not real exciting for you. But I'm having fun. This is great, makes a change from the usual. There we go, a daisy piece to paint. So <clears throat> let's now maybe drop in a little bit of this crazy blue. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put <clears throat> moisture in there first with a pigment of the blue. a little bit damp and then I'm going to go back to the first petal whoa whoa that's that's crazy beautiful dropping in a little bit more of the pigment beautiful now I'll just pick up <clears throat> the excess, just to knock it back a little bit. <clears throat> I tend to be a little heavy handed with my water too, so it doesn't hurt me to just pull back the, the paint a little bit. There we go, just one flower painted there. Okay. <clears throat> Now, hearts, I wonder <clears throat> if we do a sheet of hearts, what do you reckon? I think that'll be a bit of fun. And she can paint them all in.
So if this was an Easter journal, a, a great painting activity would be the Easter eggs. They do, you know, drop colour in on, on all the different lines within the Easter egg. Probably could have drawn this, but you know, why reinvent the wheel when you've got a stencil ready to go? Oops, that was a bit of a wild heart. That's all right. I think that's all of them. No, there's a few under my fingers. So what we might do now is drop some colour in. Let's do a pink, a pink heart. Oh, can't get that undone. Can't get that undone. So I'm thinking the pink was elsewhere. There it is. So let's let's do this one here that I sort of smeared the black around because so I'm just filling in the heart with some colour, little bit of gradient shading can't hurt. And there we go. Like it doesn't have to be crazy. Maybe we do it. Let's do another one. I can't help myself. Whose project is this? Mine or hers? <laughs> oh, I like that aquary colour up there. Yeah. Just do a little one. Hello, Casper. My second cat is here now and he wants to jump up. He's twice the size of Fudge. So you can imagine how it's going to go. Not well. There we go. Little pink heart, little blue heart. Done. Okay. How are we going for pockets left with paint? Oh, see, look, we've still got plenty of paper left for her to play with. So we'll leave those and then... Maybe, maybe I'll turn it this way. So as she opens it, there's suggestions on the outside and then paper on the inside. Who knows? I'm probably overthinking it. All right, guys. I think that's all this stencils exhausted. So I'm just going to move my paint out of the way before. I've got a hang of a mess here. I can just see a paintbrush getting flicked. So I hope that's not too difficult for a young person to do but it's pretty much the, along the vein of coloring in so we've got the hearts the flowers it's a scrap some more flowers my version of flowers we've got some coloring in palette a butterfly that little guy and the face heaps of goodies so i'll slide them all into our pocket and um, that's the watercolour section. Excellent. I think the next section will be fabrics and maybe doily bits that she stitches down or um, embroidery bits. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Anyway, I need to clean up this mess before I have a bit of a disaster here when I flick my hands around in the air and knock a bottle of water. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.